This is an incredibly international cr uh, group. We have our first Finn of the evening. Are you guys ready? We have our. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Lowry! Good evening. My name is Lauri. It's Finnish of the Latin name Laurentius, which means the one who wears a crown made of leaves, like Julius Caesar, you know. Of course, I also have a toga and a gorgeous beard. I just forgot both of those home this morning. <laughs> Lovely to see you all here. Um, you know, I, I wish I had an artistic name, like many, many Finnish athletes have. For instance, the former one driver, Kimi Reikkonen, he's called the Iceman. <laughs> or there's a boxer called Robert Helenius, who's called the Nordic Nightmare. <laughs> or how about the ice hockey player, Temu Selanne, who used to be called the Finnish Flash. Bring these to the context of stand-up, I can already see the headlines. No one serves a punchline like the Iceman. <laughs> or no one, no one entertains the audience like the Nordic Nightmare. <laughs> or no one, no one surprises you like the Finnish flash on the stage. <laughs> Laurentius has dropped his toga, like his mic. Okay, no, no flashing tonight. You want me to finish right away? I have designed some other plans for us tonight, um, since I'm a designer. Thanks for the applause. Yeah, I, I know many of you are now thinking the big names of designers. Coco Chanel, <laughs> Giorgio Armani, Lidl. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Um, unfortunately, I don't have my name on any fancy handbag or fragrance, neither on a loaf at milk packaging from Lidl. <laughs> because my, my work is much more profound than that. I, I, help, I help people's lives by interacting with post-it notes. <laughs> yes, I'm a post-it designer. <sighs> I designed the letters written on these sticky notes. And now you're asking, ah, oh, is it typography you do? No. <laughs> the font is my very own sans serif and has been the same for years. <laughs> but you know this post-it design business, it's, it's, it's really growing. And people are trying to... <laughs> people are trying to call it something much more important sounding. It's, it's co-creative innovation. It's customer journey design. It's, uh, it's uh, omni, omni channel user experience mapping with an inclusive approach. <laughs> hey, please, let's call it what it is. It's filling walls with post its written on those things like movement with an exclamation mark. <laughs> That's what it is. And, and you know, it's, it's so sustainable. <laughs> I, I ruin a rainforest, just one rainforest, with every two-hour workshop. Yeah. <sighs> and you know, I have one here also. <laughs> People, people say that, yeah, you can, you can innovate, you can do innovations during these workshops. You can just brainstorm those. I can tell you, 
Not true. <laughs> no. Because the biggest innovation happens when some poor bastard has to make sense of these post-its afterward. <laughs> okay, what do we have? Uh, movement, DIY, uh, human limitations, visual content creation, uh, scalable, of course, yes, yeah. Uh, what could it be? Uh, it's, a, it's a gadget. Uh, it's a gadget which helps you to take pictures of yourself from, from distance. <laughs> yes. It's a, it's a selfie stick. Yeah. Yeah. Genius. Genius. Like... Yeah, let's, let's make a case study straight away and put it to the LinkedIn. Yeah. Yeah. You know, LinkedIn these days, it's, like, a, it's like, a, like an arena of personal brands to masturbate. Seriously. Like, it's, it's like an infectious disease. Like, the ones who've got the infection, they are, they are trying so hard to look competent, Important, not desperate. <laughs> Hashtag winning, they put everywhere. <laughs> and you know, hashtags. Hashtags, as in, that's, that's like an endless stream of nonsense branding. Like, I thought hashtags are there to make it easier to filter and found content in social media. And what kind of hashtags are we do, using? Like, hashtag good energy levels. Hashtag good wipes. Hashtag insta mood. <laughs> like, has anyone ever tried to find good stuff from social media typing hashtag awesomeness? <laughs> like, yeah, I want to take a look what is awesomeness. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Seriously. You know, my point is just like, why are we trying so hard to show off? We, it, it, long time ago, we Finns understood the quiet truth. If you're boring as hell, don't try to be something else. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, like, we, we don't do, for example, we don't do elevator pitches. We are fucking quiet in elevators. <laughs> and you should do. Embrace the quietness. It's beautiful. <sighs> oh, my God, these poses are killing me. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Uh, we... I mean, we all want to do important work, of course, yeah. But we don't need any fancy titles and, and like personal brands for that. Brands are for companies, services, products. Those don't have brands before. Those need personality to be built. We don't need a chief evangelist if that person doesn't represent any church. <laughs> or a growth wizard. If you don't work with magic, <laughs> literally, magic, <laughs> or a marketing warrior, if your biggest battles happen in Twitter. <laughs> How much common good we could just do together with the time and effort we are putting to build our personal brands. For that and more, Sign up for my LLC program. <laughs> Lean Laurentius Co-Creation. <laughs> I can guarantee you, no post-its, just, just transformation. <laughs> See you there. Thank you.